The overall goal of this procedure is to stretch patterned cells on an elastic membrane of polydimethylsiloxane, or PDMS. This is accomplished through the passivation of a PDMS sheet, followed by the application of a micropattern on the PDMS. The micropatterned PDMS sheet is then mounted on the stretching device, and a medium retaining pool is placed on top. Next, the cells are plated on the surface of the micropatterned PDMS sheet and allowed to attach to the pattern before flushing to remove unattached cells. The final step is to apply an elongation to the cell containing PDMS to stretch the cells. Ultimately, video microscopy is used to show that application of forces on the retraction fibers of mitotic mammalian cells in cell stretching results in deformation of the cell. This method can help answer key questions in the biomechanics field, such as what are the effects of external forces on cellular processes, like division. We first had the idea for this method when we wanted to apply forces on a dividing cell. To begin, cut a piece of PDMS approximately 35 by 20 millimeters from a pre-made sheet. Here, a commercially available thin PDMS sheet is used because it is more reproducible and is less likely to break as compared to custom-made PDMS. Remove the top and the bottom protective layers of plastic and use tweezers to place the PDMS